Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here today with a collective haul. So usually I break down hauls, you know, each company has its own haul, but this time it's a collective because collectively it's good. <laughs> Alrighty, I moved that out of the way because I just wanted to talk to you. Um, it's Saturday and I don't know if you caught it, but if you missed it, Tim Holtz released a new Distress Ink color, whole entire line. Um, Distress Ink, Distress Oxide, Spray, da, 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 like a whole thing. Of course, I got the ink and the oxide, and the color is called Prize Ribbon. I'll insert a photo now. And yes, I did order my inks earlier at scrapbook.com. It's on sale in scrapbook.com. It's normally $6.99. They have it for six something, a little discount. And also at scrapbook.com, there are two freebies today. Mm -hmm. A six by six holiday paper pack. And what was the other freebie? Oh gosh, my mind is drawing a blank. Oh gosh. <laughs> I was too excited by the Tim Holtz color. <laughs> and if you have some time, you can watch his release. Just type in Tim Holtz here on YouTube and you'll see his live video that was up at uh, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard. Also, Jennifer McGuire has her video showing you how she used that same beautiful kind. Yeah, it's like an oceanic blue color really really pretty so you can watch her video as well um alrighty and in the video it's playing on my tv right now on mute <laughs> she's using the ink stand remember guys the ink stand the one that holds your inks together yeah i tell you get it at honeybee stamps where you can use afterpay i think the other day when i told you guys it was in stock when i went and looked again it was out of stock so hopefully they restocked it again just ask to be notified if it's sold out okay all righty let's get started into my collective haul all righty guys so this is my yes me and my storage bags this is the 13 by 15 storage bag <laughs> why am i showing you this for my newbies out there you're going to michael's you're shopping at scrapbook.com. You're buying paper collection packs and they're all packed in these little things and you need to store your stuff. Even if you have like a totally Tiffany organizer, there's only so many of those that you can buy. This would give you bang for your buck at a hundred, a hundred in a pack for under $20. This is a 13 by 15 inch, two millimeter bag. I will put a link below. I use these all the time to store, you know, 12 by 12 papers etc. If I am working on a kit, that's what I put it in. In this case, this haul, that's what I put it in. If I'm going to a crop or any scrapbooking event, if you are making kits for people, let's say you're hosting a card making party, the bag, all right? These are the little essentials that come in handy. Right. So first up, after I opened up that bag, I got a few sheets because I wanted to see it from scrapbook.com. I think I told you guys this, that I like to get a few sheets first just to make sure that the paper is where I like it to be before I, you know, go get a whole collection pack. This is a company that's out of Poland. Beautiful papers. Look at this. 12 by 12 um, summer vibes. And I think you guys saw in my last haul, I did the Summer Vibes Ephemera, which was sold out. Now it's in stock. So I wanted to get a few sheets of it to finish a summer mini album that I'm working on. These are the kind of colors that are in that uh, mini album. As a matter of fact, the mini album is more this. So I just wanted to see it in person. That's why I didn't buy the whole collection. Just bought a few sheets. One, I don't think I need the whole collection. And then two... I um, wanted to test it out just to see if it would work with what I have because, you know, sometimes they'll show photos and you're not 100% sure. And the ephemera can look different than the actual 12 by 12. This is pretty. So this is Summer Vibes 1. Oh, look, it has here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It has like little musical notes. That's pretty. And then, yeah, the Volkswagen bus. The Scooby-Doo got me. <laughs> it reminds me of Scooby-Doo. 
how they drive in the van. Hey, this would be gorgeous on a vacation 12 by 12. Or if you have like a trip to someplace exotic like, you know, Hawaii or something, this would be really, really nice. Surfing. This would be cute as a cover for a travel notebook for a teen. You know, sometimes you're on a tight budget. Don't buy the entire collection. Just buy a few sheets, you know. Pretty, pretty. Even on the inside. So if you made this into a book, that would be the outside. Flip it. This is the inside. Just this sheet alone. This is Summer Vibes 4. Pretty, 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 pretty. Nice 12 by 12. Okay, okay. so on the last scrapbook.com haul, I showed you guys the Summer Vibes, the ephemera so this and this goes together all right then i got the sugar and spice ephemera to add to what i had before this is super cute so let's take a look at this stuff all right crafters so i had put it out on a sheet of paper so this is all the ephemera in that sugar and spice pack which look at this you can even use the packaging itself look at that you can make a tag with that and guess what Nice cardstock, so I think I'm gonna use this to make a tag. I could even cut this out too, actually. This is a much smaller scale. See, cupcake, cupcake. You see it? See that? So this is, the packaging is actually very nice from P13. Definitely don't toss that out. So here is the kit and here we go again. Okay, you can see the AliExpress memory dex die. Then the honeybee stamps die of a cart. Now there is, okay, so there's, there must be a trend with the candy cart and sweets cart and everything. I'm not mad at it at all. I love this type of stuff. So pretty. This great on everything. Cards, scrapbook, memory decks, mini albums, mixed media, ooh, journals. Pop this in your journal too. Oh, this is really, really nice. It's not, um, it's not an adhesive. So you just put a little, you know, adhesive or a little glue on it. And I bought one pack. I think I'll be buying another pack. Now that I see it in person, oh, I'm loving this. Definitely. Hopefully it's not sold out. <laughs> Sugar and spicy ephemera die cuts. Love, love, love. This set goes with, and I showed you this in a recent haul, the decorative tags super cute along with the sugar and spice six by six paper pack there is a 12 by 12 oh look i you know i didn't even see on the inside i saw the back with this but i didn't see more to cut look at that but you know i can't stand f fussy cutting like this but still pretty <laughs> i know it's a bad habit i just don't fussy cut well oh pretty 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 so i will link this as well i did link this in the last video sugar and spice now i have the ephemera i am getting it yeah just that's just definitely getting another one of that one just to stretch it out into everything so cute and the decorative tags but i'm loving this ephemera ephemera die cuts a must uh, moving on you guys know that i've been showing you lately on some of my card examples this alta new balloon bunch so I had um, in my last video for Trinity stamps with the party teacup, I always show you this, the stamp, the die, and then I showed you that it also comes with a bunch of balloons, 3D embossing folder. So all of these go together. Then when I was linking this for you guys, I forgot. <laughs> I have the stencil. <laughs> Balloon bunch mask stencil. There's a stencil for this thing. Oh, <laughs> apologies for not showing it before, but I keep my stencils all together somewhere else. So from now on, this will all be together because I can definitely see this is a set. From embossing folder to the die, to the layering stamp, and also now a stencil. So if you're not, you know, if you're having issues or I shouldn't say issues, but let's say you don't like the stamping part, you know, with the layering stamping. Skip that. Here you can do stencil, cut it out with the die, and then you could, you know, add it on top of the embossing or just do these two. What's the point of all of this? Options. Love the options. I just, I forgot about this. Yeah. I saw that. I was like, oh, I have to tell everybody that there's a stencil for it too which clearly I have. Alrighty, moving on, but still in scrapbook.com. Next up, 
Cute and crafty from Doodlebug. So cute. Yes, there is six by six, 12 by 12, all kinds of um, stickers. All I got was this. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes I just need to see it first. Like, this is where I miss a local scrapbook store. Because if I had a local scrapbook store, I would go in, I'd see everything in the colors. And no, you know, I, I wasn't sure if I would like all the little, everything has a face on it. I wasn't sure if I'd like it, but I am liking it. Because I was thinking I would put this, not necessarily scrapbooking, but like a memory dex. But now that I'm seeing it in my hand and these images, um, these sizes are kind of big too. Let's go, two and three quarter by three and a quarter. Look at that, you know I have one of these. That's what I use the, the guillotine, but the big, hard, solid wood guillotine trimmer to cut chipboard. <laughs> I may have to use this in like a, you know, Crafty Friends mini album actually. I've been wanting to make one for a while. I haven't made it yet. Oh, this is cute. Oh, what is that? One and seven eighths by four. The little cart, our craft cart from Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> or Michael's or Target or Amazon everywhere. Oh, this is adorable. Are you enjoying all the cuteness? I'm, I, you know, I didn't pull it out until now. I got it and then put it down because I didn't have time to look at it. Oh, this is adorable washi. We have buttons. Oh guys, okay, I'm not gonna go through all of this because I'm gonna drive you crazy if I go through all of this. I like how they did <laughs> packaging. Look at that. If you wanna say that you went shopping with your crafty friends and you wanna make a scrapbook, you can say, look at what we bought is the packaging. Like how this is. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. That is uh, that is just too much. Whoever came up with this idea, kudos to you. That is cute. Little notebook. Oh my goodness. The punch. Wait a second. This thing has a lot of stuff. Like mini albums. I just wasn't sure if I'd like the face, but the face isn't bothering me at all. I think I'm more like in awe of <laughs> all the crafty goodness. <laughs> This is just hilarious. And I saw that they did have Copic markers. Come on. The marker there, the, the, the full marker with the cap on <laughs> in a holder looking happy. <laughs> oh, this even looks like a, a um, Ohuhu marker too. Oh, the ruler. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. I, I said I was going to stop. My cell phone or your iPad. That looks like a, yeah, that's a cell phone. Oh, this is hilarious. Color swatch. <laughs> oh, this is making me smile. Because if you're a crafter and you get something like this, oh my goodness, look at that. Just the cap alone. The pencil. <laughs> Twine. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that black pen rollerball. That's like your jelly roll in, in black. Oh, they must have a jelly roll in white then. We all, a lot of us use that. Oh, for your soda when you have your your um, drink while you're crafting. <laughs> Money to shop. <laughs> Saving up. Oh, this is like that, um, your 12 by 12 scrapbook album. Um, I don't want to say piercing tool. What is this called? I can't even remember, what you, but you guys know. <laughs> For making flowers. That's me, coffee. Oh, that's funny. Craft stash, credit card, more cash. So this is like when you, when, um, you know, I don't know if you've gone out with your crafty friends shopping, but when we go out shopping as a bunch of crafters, oh, we are a goofy, loud group of people. It's, it's bad. So I can definitely see this in a scrapbook layout or in a mini album. And we take pictures too. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a lot of laughing, giggling, eating, drinking coffee. Oh, uh, too funny. This is adorable. All right, all right. I'm going to look, continue looking because there's just too many gems in this one. Craft knife, come on. All right, I will definitely link this below. This is the odds and ends. And then there is one with um, titles. I didn't get that one, but now that I see this, oh, I'm definitely getting it. As a matter of fact, this, this may be a, I need to get another one of this. Yeah, yeah. 
I can see it for me, uh, memory decks and, yep, there's an and, some sort of mini album. If I was scrapbooking, I'd definitely get a pack just to make a big scrapbook, but I, I don't do 12 by 12 anymore. I don't know. You know, maybe one day I'll go back to it because one of my friends, she had stopped doing it, one of my crafty friends, but she... She just started, she just picked up back scrapbooking again and she's loving it. Scrapbooking and scrapbooking using her Cricut Maker. She's like, Suzanne, that Cricut Maker. I'm like, I still want to win one. I don't want to buy one. Speaking about that, what did you guys think about um, HSN Craft Day? I thought they would have bundled up the Maker. They didn't. What are they waiting for? Mm. I, you know, if you're going to get it, you know, if you can wait... Wait until they bundle it up nice and maybe put on a six flex pay. Cute. This is adorable. This is better. But this is brighter. And they work together. But I just had to, this craft bag thing. So got that from scrapbook.com. Next up. Did she get another cloud stencil? Yes, I did. I, I am a sucker for cloud stencils. I love the Lawn Fawn one. I love the Trinity stamps. I saw a few examples of this waffle flower one, slimline cloud stencil, and yeah, yeah. What's cute about it? You get the low clouds, you get puffy clouds, and then you also get these inner clouds, and you could pop it out, see how they are, use that as a mask, or let's say you do the cloud, or you just have a sky, and you want to put clouds in with your ink blender, that. This is what I don't have, that, these little individual clouds. So that's cute. Waffle flower. I love my waffle flower. Is that it for scrapbook.com? I think so. Okay, next up. I had to get this. I watched Jennifer McGuire, which you know, it can be trouble sometimes on my wallet. But anyway, I watched Jennifer McGuire, and then I watched Nicole Spore, and then somebody else I watched who had this hero arts kit for this month oh yes i oh i'm missing one part there is a washi and um some little um glitter thing that's upstairs that's not the main important thing anyway this is so they had on their videos examples because i guess they're on the design team of using this gnome fairy set oh my goodness i i just couldn't get over it it's a little bit small, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you know, when you watch a video, you're thinking it's big, so let Okay, me... crafters, I'm back. I had to find <laughs> a sheet of paper. Oh my goodness, to show you what this thing looks like. It's hard to see it. This is what they sent it, you know. This was packed on top of this, so that's how it would arrive if you got it. I have not checked if it's still in stock. I will link it below. Um, you buy the, it's a monthly kit from Hero Arts and you don't have to join. I guess you could, but I didn't. I just bought the individual kit. I, I don't need every single month. I, I like just this one, that's it for me. But it comes with six by eight clear stamp set. There you go, photopolymer. Coordinating frame cuts. Here you go, that's the coordinating dies. Look at them. <laughs> oh, goodness. I had to go get my nippers out for that one. Uh, mushroom washi tape. That's what I didn't bring on the start of the sequence. And three dye inks here we go cute see again these inks don't have a name on the bottom this is when you would use your ink stand if I'm going to use all three or separate them out just to not mix them up green hills soft purple and pale tomato well they do have names on here thank goodness cute so here I put it on a sheet of white cardstock so you guys can see now you know I saw the videos and I was like oh it's small but it's real small. <laughs> so let's look at, but if you like small and they're gnomes, they're supposed to be small, it's super cute. But let's measure just to see if this is a deal breaker for you in terms of size. That house, I've seen that one in a lot of people's videos. Two inches by one and three quarter. So, you know, actually when they're this small, easier coloring. When I first started coloring with Copics and when I was learning how to color, I, for some reason, I thought backwards. I thought the bigger the image, the easier. No, it's not. <laughs> it's much easier. I don't know why I thought that, but I think it forced me to learn <laughs> by coloring four-inch images. 
this little mushroom house two by one and a half. Let me get up even closer so you guys can see better. There is a little, oh, another tree stump. Oh my goodness, I have so many tree stumps. Between Trinity Stamps and Hero Arts, I have a lot of tree stumps. Two and a half by one. These are great for grounding your critters, you know. You're one of a kind. There's no place like gnome or home. That's cute. You are fairy kind. So here are the fairies. This is a real nice comprehensive set. Thank you very much. Mush. Mushroom. <laughs> one and a quarter by one. Yeah, so it's it's all these kind of, and then we get all the little leaves, and there's that little gnome sleeping. This is very cute. Little gnome on a ladder. Little walkway for here or here. The little cobblestones, and then these. I love having the little um, flowers with the hanging, this type of thing. Oh, that gets me all the time. So pretty. I don't even know what this is called, but you guys probably know. And coordinating die. You know, I have a lot of die nippers. I should keep a set down here just to show you guys what it looks like, how I would nip this. I'll do that another time because this video is going to get very long if I do that now, like a separate video. So moving on. So now, with the mushroom, if you watch anybody else's video, because I'm taking my time getting accessories, there are other add-ons to this. That will be sold year-round, but for this, you have to get the kit, okay? And the kit comes with the stamp, the dye, um, ink, etc. I think the price is $34.99. Well, beyond that, scrapbook.com has... And I'll Oh my, <laughs> I couldn't find what I'm looking, I was looking for. Didn't I have it in a bag? Yes, when it's in the bag, everything is there. When I took it out the bag, couldn't find anything. I did get one of the add-on. This is a um, forest vines. So it works back in creating a scene and this is a drop-in like a little window on the front of a card. This example was used by um, yeah, definitely Jennifer and Nicole. They use it in both of their videos. Super, super, super cute. It is small, so let me tell you, it look bigger in video. It's smaller in person, okay? Three and a quarter by three. Small opening. Actually, this at this size, three and a quarter by three, you could use this on a vertical slim line. So, your vertical slim line is three and a half inches, this would drop right in here. So that gives you a, a, a more of a visual of how wide I'm talking and how high I'm talking, that it can go on a regular slim line, which is nice because you could put this, put a piece of acetate behind it, create a shaker thing, all kinds of stuff. Most of them used it on a, um, I think it was an A2 card, but why not use it on a slim line? It could work. I'd make it work. Or like a note card type of, of um, shaker thing. Anyway. Alrighty, so that's that for Hero Arts. But I did get this. Um, Hero Arts was sold out of it. So I got it at scrapbook.com when they got it in stock. And it's all, all the add-ons are in stock at scrapbook.com now. Alrighty. Also, on my wish list, my little peeps from Lawn Fawn. They're called the Tiny Birthday Friends. This is from the Lawn Fawn new release. I had shown you that I had hauled that the other day. I waited a little bit to get these two. It's the little, little people with the dye. It's actually not a bad price point, but at the time that I bought stuff from the new release, I was like, you know, staying in a little budget. This kind of went over the budget. And then at scrapbook.com, I'm using, um, the PayPal pay in four, where you do four bi-weekly payments. That helps to spread everything out, okay? Cute, 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 cute. All right, moving on now to cat scrappiness. Two things. So this is that, oh gosh, I'll pop the name here. I think it's called Oceanside or something like that, Waterside. That's this in the... Um, 
A2 size and you cut it and each of these pieces fall out and then you ink blend it or color it with your pencils, watercolor or alcohol markers. This is a lot of coloring though for alcohol markers to be honest with you. <laughs> I just do the ink blending much easier on my life. <laughs> and I would definitely use that new Tim Holtz color. Super pretty. But this is the A2 size, which I got first. And then I told you guys in that cat scrap in this haul video, I told you I was going to get the slim line. Here it is. And it comes with this frame. Now, let's take a closer look at this. You see that cut line and that frame with the stitch detail? You could run this die and use this frame by itself for everything. You don't have to use it with this. So you, in this instance, you are getting a two for, two for one. Now, because she did put cut lines in all of this, let's say you wanted to do something with not a beach scene building, but you wanted to do a day at the park with a picnic. I could take one of my lawn fawn hillside, put the hillside here, take all of this out, just put the hillside here, put my image here, keep this, take out that, either keep it as a sun or take it out, just keep that cloud, maybe add some cloud stencils, Coming in back with this, mix and match. Because she gave you cut lines and everything pulls out, so you don't have to always dedicate this to only beach. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? And you do get a frame by itself. Options, love options. This too, this also gave you a frame by itself. I will list this die. So it looked like this, it's just the A2 size. This is it in an example. That's the frame by itself. I popped everything back in and it did pop in well. Cute. Also, she um, listed the matching dies to my summer quokas. So now I got the matching die. Yeah, their name isn't on the back, but super duper cute. This is the one with the little tiki hut and the little quokas. I did a few examples of this. I will link that video here just in case you want to check that out. Okay, next up. Let's go into Simon Says. I got this from Simon Says. Yes. And it's your fault, Gina. <laughs> the crafter, Gina. She has a YouTube channel. Gina loves to craft. She did a 4th of July haul with um, the greeting farm. And they had a sale. And I missed it that sale. I don't know how I missed it. And she did this cute haul. And so I went on a greeting farm and then I saw that they had this release. Now this was not on sale, but this is something that's one of those limited time things. I love my Miss Anya figure and this is called Miss Anya all year. This is a ginormous stamp set. Okay. This is 12 by eight and a half. So you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten images, pets, sayings, all kinds of cuteness throughout the year. Yeah. And it wasn't available on the greeting farm, but I certainly did find it on Simon Says. Love, 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 travel. Ooh, going back to school. April for rain, summertime, Valentine's. Christmas, I could change out that, put in a coffee cup. Because you know, I love, love to have the coffee. I just pop in a coffee cup in there. Fourth of July. This is adorable. Even the pets. Super duper duper cute. Yes, it's cha-ching. So that's from the greeting farm. And I will list that if they still have it in stock. I, I believe so. Until it's sold out. So if you want it, don't wait too long. This is called Trishel. Super cute. Super cute. I think Gina hauled this. Thanks, Gina. So I got this. <laughs> this is so cute. If she didn't get this one, she got another one. But I know it was some mermaid, and I was just like, I don't have that, and it's super cute. And then Simon Says had on uh, 4th of July 20% off their own items. So let me show you what I got from Simon Says. I got this 3D embossing folder. And you can blame a few of the 
design team members from Simon Says for letting me get this. There are a few gorgeous examples out there using um, Distress Ink rolled on. And I showed you guys that I got that brayer, how to make a card. I'm going to practice how to do it and then do a video. Embossing folder, wildflower field. Pretty, pretty when um, applied with ink. And next up, had this in my cart for a very long time. Once it got down to that, um, that extra 20, I decided it was time. <laughs> so it's called Spring Bouquet Pretty. This is another one that's like a lot of examples on YouTube. And as Simon says, so pretty. And I got the matching die because I knew I wanted the matching die for this. And lastly, from Simon Says. Kathy Zilski, she designed this. So see, it says Z Design. She did a video on this and I just thought these are adorable. It's a little Norwal. Norwal Happy Birthday. What is it called? Norwal Friends. Matching die. As a matter of fact, I plan on making a bunch of birthday cards. Yep. <laughs> and lastly, my favorite things. I got another pin, another 15-year pin. They have their retirement sale, so I did get a few things. I got this. I just think I love this kind of um, lemon thing. It's called Main Squeeze. Lemon stamp set with a coordinating die. This was in the clearance. Retirement sale. Cute, 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 cute. Great for summer. Next up, I got this. The best fins now i bought the die for nothing <laughs> remember if you if you shop at my favorite things you go into the sale category you add a but you know you add a few things don't forget to go into the save page because if it totals a certain amount then you can add an additional percentage on top of it if you sign up then you every time you shop you can get points and when you accumulate points that equals cash, then you apply your cash to your sale. Don't forget. But you usually can only apply one discount. So it's either gonna be cash or the savings code. And next up, I did get the carousel horses with the coordinating die. There is a set to make this do like an interactive up and down with the horse. I don't have that piece, but I do have this. And I think it's just, it's cute. Is cute and the price point wasn't bad at all and lastly can't go wrong with a bag topper now normally I get my bag toppers from Aliexpress but this bag topper was a decent price and it's a MFT stamps treat bag topper super cute super cute I'll use it to show you guys in an example maybe with some of my sugar and spice that'd be cute right yeah like maybe something like that on this bag topper see how it fits in here options options or if you're making a bag for one of your crafty friends you pop this on see so this measures let me give you the measurement four and a quarter by for the bag it's of two and a quarter it's because you're going to fold right here on that score line so that's why i'm giving you the area to play with here super cute has nice stitch detail yay Alrighty, crafters, I think that's it. Yes, that's my collective haul. Alrighty, this video lasted longer than I thought. Alrighty, crafters, definitely check out Hero Arts for their gnome goodness. If you think this is cute, you watch Jennifer McGuire's video on this and Nicole Spore. They both have um, nice you know, examples of how to use this, this wonderful stamp set along with some of the dies and etc. Get it before it sells out on um, Hero Arts because this is a monthly kit. Once the kit is gone, I don't know if they bring the kit back. I don't think so. Spellbinders will have their kits, their monthly kits, but with theirs, sometimes they'll bring it back if it sells well. Other companies, it's a all or none. And also, let's not forget scrapbook.com. Hello. Along with the new Distress Ink color. That the, the two distress inks, if you get the distress ink and the oxide along with this, mm, not so bad, not so bad, not so bad on the wallet. Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Enjoy all the cuteness. Bye.